Good afternoon. Once again, coming to you live from the driver's seat. And today's post is about studying the greats and dreaming big. I agree with a lot of people when they say that you have to learn on your own. And that's true. Some lessons are best learned through effort. But then there are other things that you can learn by looking at people who've already done it. Kobe learned from Michael. Michael learned from Dr. J. LeBron James learned from Kobe. Their games may not be the same, but their situations are. So when you start to look at how a guy handles superstardom, you look at the guy who's handled it before you. You saw the class that a Dr. J carried himself with. You saw the way Michael carried himself, but you say, okay, I'm going to adapt those things to my game. Same thing should be happening in the body of Christ. Because what did the disciples do? They studied Jesus. They watched how he carried himself. They watched what he did. And what did he do? Only the things that he saw his father do. So there's a lineage that has been carried on from Father God to Jesus Christ to the disciples. So this thing is not new. This is how it is meant to be. So what you should do is start figuring out what areas of your life you want to see improvement in. And then look at the people who have what you want. Scripturally, it says to covet the good gifts. So if you see somebody who's patient, ask them what they do, what they're thinking about when people are making them uncomfortable. If you see somebody who's healthy, ask them what they're eating. Ask them what their workout regimen looks like. If you see people who are successful in an area that you want to be successful in business-wise, whether it's entrepreneurship or leadership or sales, figure out what they're doing and then go back to them. If it doesn't work out, say, hey, I did what you did. Why didn't it work? When the disciples came back to Jesus, Jesus said, it's because of your faith. Hmm. Okay, then you figure out how to strengthen your faith if you're the disciples. Now, if it's you or I, then we may need to figure out how to figure a way that works for us in some other area. Maybe it's not your faith, but maybe it's your diet. Maybe it's how you're working out. Maybe you need to change some of your techniques. Maybe you need to switch up your regimen. Maybe you need to change your resume. But whatever it is, ask someone who knows now as far as the dreaming big part goes dreaming big is simply this if i'm gonna do it i might as well go all the way it really makes no sense to be mediocre because at the end of the day nobody remembers mediocre and god gets no glory out of you being mediocre so how can you serve a god that is great and above all and that there is no other but him and not have that same kind of mentality and not have that same kind of belief system that I should separate myself, sanctify myself with my effort and character so that people see me and want to be like me. That's what you're looking at when you're looking at those successful people. You're trying to covet their gift. You're trying to be like them. But are you really willing to be like them? Are you really willing to pay the price? If you are, let's just get started. Let's stop thinking about it, talking about it, believing it, but not achieving it. Let's actually do it. So until the next time I see you, just get started.